This video I'm going to show you how to activate your MSDN subscription. There's, there's some confusion when people buy MSDN subscriptions as to how to activate them. If you buy it through the Open Volume program, you're going to receive an email with an attachment. And it's going to look a lot like this email here. I've, I've hidden the top part because it's got customer info, but if you scroll down, you can see this is the product that you purchased. In this case, the customer bought both a premium MSDN and a Pro, so they, they actually bought two subscriptions. Where it gets confusing, confusing is there's a lot of info here. What you need to do is scroll down here to the bottom for MSDN customers. And in this area, there's two links. One is for the MSDN site, and the other is for the VLSC, the Volume Licensing Service Center. And now what you need to do, they should actually just number these and, and walk you through steps, but they don't. Uh, but the first thing you need to do is go out to the VLSC and uh, get your subscription information from that website. So what I'm, what I'm doing here is jumping over here. This is what it looks like when you go there. This is the website. And uh, you sign in with the, a live ID. This is what you get. And pay attention to the menu bar at the, at the top. This is where you can see your subscription. So under subscriptions or under licenses, either one, you'll see what you bought and you'll see the subscriptions. And what you can do in there is that there's a link inside there to manage your subscriptions. I can't go in there myself because there's customer information that I don't want to share in the video. But in there, look for the link that says manage subscriptions and you can assign a subscription to an individual, either yourself or someone else. And it'll, you can also get your um, subscriber ID. From there, if you take that back to this website, which, which had the link in the, the email there that would take you to the, the subscription site for MSDN. If you, you add this little extension to the URL, add slash default dot ASPX, you'll get this screen where you can actually put in your name and your subscriber ID, which you obtained from the other website. And you can walk through the wizard and activate your subscription.